the training started down down here on Earth, obviously. So it's a pretty, I, I don't know, a pretty uh, big burden um, to be responsible for capturing images, capturing these images that are going to be used um, in, a, in a film. And so we wanted to do a good job learning as much as we could from, and, and it was really a master's class here at, uh, at the Space Center because we had uh, James um, Nyhaus and, and uh, Tony Myers and, and Greg Smith, folks that have worked on previous uh, Space IMAX movies, uh, giving us the instruction on how to, to, how to operate the cameras, how to capture sound, how to do lighting and focus and framing and all the things that are important to, um, to using these cameras and capturing the images that we wanted to capture. So we spent a lot of time training on the ground, um, but you can only go get so far. I mean, once, once we were up on orbit, we were, we were kind of on our own. On our own. One of the, the amazing um, capabilities that you have up there is that you're flying around the Earth every 90 minutes and you spend a good part of the day flying you know, with your orbit taking you over North America where your family and friends live. So you get to get, look down at the Earth and say, hey, I, I used to live there. It's definitely a, a profound experience to, to live on the space station and to, to look down at the Earth and to look at uh, the Earth's place in the solar system, to see constellations in the Milky Way in the background, to see the moon rising and setting, to see the, the, the sun um, rise and set you know, 16 times a day. And I did not feel disconnected uh, from the Earth. I felt, I don't know, more connected to the Earth, to my family, seeing um, where we live, where my friends were, places that I've lived, um, the place where I was born, seeing those things from the window, um, just made me feel a connection. The Earth is this uh, beautiful blue spaceship just hanging in the void of space. And um, it is a spaceship like the International Space Station. It is the home of, uh, of humanity. And uh, it provides us air to breathe, water uh, to drink, food to eat, protects us from radiation, and it protects us from the cold void of space. Um, and yet, I don't feel like we take care of it like we take care of the International Space Station. I mean, we recognize that if the space station breaks, we're all in, in serious trouble. Um, but what if the Earth breaks? What if we break the Earth? So we need to, we need to have the same sense of, uh, of urgency, the same sense of um, hold, hold the, the Earth in the same sense of uh, importance. You see how thin the atmosphere is. You can see the changes that, that uh, humanity have, have had on the Earth. Um, I don't know, it gave me a sense of urgency for, for, for taking better care of it. I think every astronaut is desperate to share their experience. It, it is such a profound experience. Um, it's such an amazing perspective and we want to be able to share that with our family, with our friends, with, with people on the earth uh, in general. And so to have the tools, of, the, the tools that we have, not only just in the cameras that we're using for scientific um, observation, but to have the IMAX cameras up there and to be able to capture these views uh, as close as possible to what the human, the, the perspective is and the experience is for those of us up there, I mean, was very important to us.